Hello, how y'all doing today? This is Kay. Happy Sunday evening. Hey there, how y'all doing today? I'm about to sit here and have my dinner. But first, we're going to do the daily bread. Um, I took and cooked some smoked turkey neck, some the 15 bean soup, cabbage, yellow rice, and cornbread. We're going to get into that. But right now, we're going to get into this daily bread. And Steve Harvey on in the background. <laughs> that don't make no sense. I'm doing too much all together here. Okay. <clears throat> Hold my hand and walk joyously with me through this day. Together, we will savor the pleasures and endure the difficulties it brings. Be on the lookout for everything I have prepared for you. Stunning scenery. Bracing winds of adventure. Cozy nooks for resting when you are weary, and much more. I am your guide, as well as your constant companion. I know every step of the journey ahead of you, all the way to heaven. You don't have to, you don't have to choose between staying close to me and staying on course. Since I am the way, staying close to me is staying on course. As you focus your thoughts on me, I will guide you carefully along today's journey. Don't worry about what is around the next bend. Just concentrate on enjoying my presence and staying in step with me. Okay, and I'm going to go to John 14 and 6. And it reads, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And that is so wonderful to know. Hold my hand. Hold my hand. You know what? I want to talk about something. You know, I am a single woman. I've never been married. And I'm not currently dating nobody. You know, but I have. You know how you have a friend or something. I, I want to say, I'm saying this just to say, you know, if you're going through something or if you have a splat or a fallout with a person... You know, be careful what you say out your mouth. You know what I'm saying? I mean, people can say some real hurtful stuff. You know, and if I said or done anything to offend anyone, I apologize. Because there's nothing worth, worth my uh, salvation. Nothing coming between me and God. You know, if it's relationships that you're in that you know you're not supposed to be in, that are not godly. I mean, you know, you, you pray about it. You know, if they're not going to marry you, you got, to, you got to cut that off. You know, it's, if it's not going anywhere. You know what I mean? Oh, it's just, it's a trip. But anyway, um, I pray that God put people in my path. You know, the right people, honest people. People that don't lie and cheat and stuff like that. You know, you got to pray to God about everything. And like I said, I've never been married. And I don't want no one else's property. I don't want someone that has been married or that has still married to that person, not legally divorced or nothing like that. You know, you just got to be careful and, and just don't trust everything somebody tell you. Ask for proof. Ask for proof for you wind up getting yourself in some mess. You understand? Now, now I'm not saying that happened to me. But you just be careful uh, about trusting people, ladies. Y'all, you be careful. Guard your heart. And, you know, just don't always trust a man about them to oh you look good oh I love you and all this and blase blase you would be surprised and y'all know where I'm coming from I want a man that want me and only me somebody to be faithful to me don't lie cheat or steal from me you know what I'm saying I just ask God to put someone in my life that I know that I can trust and I don't have to worry about okay so you know you take this for what it is you know, I always ask God to lead and guide you, okay? Now, y'all have a blessed and wonderful night. Mama about to get back to this over here. Come to mommy. I'm getting ready to say this. Y'all have a blessed and wonderful night. Bye now and stay sweet. Fifteen beans, some big smoked turkey necks. I'm going to take.